Ray, you've been advertising at the Herald for over 20 years. You, you're right. We did have a lot more advertisers 20 years ago, but I... Sure. I understand. I'm going to be late for school. Have you ever been late for school, Zach? Even once? No, but... Then let's hustle. Hey, Molly. Printed those flyers for you. Thanks, Vince. Welcome. Oh, these look great. So, how'd it go with Ray? Coffee? Yeah. Yeah. We'll be back. Okay. That bad, huh? Yeah. It's too bad. really gonna miss that half-page lobster shack ad. And it's all my fault. It's my job to find advertisers, not lose them. Okay, well, you're also my best friend, and it's not your job to perform miracles, okay? Look, why don't you take some time off? Do some painting. I haven't painted in years. Exactly. Maybe now's the perfect time to pick up the brush again. Are you firing me? No, but until I can boost our readership, nobody's gonna wanna advertise with us. Besides, I've got one more trick up my sleeve, and if it works, we're gonna need you back sooner than you think. Anything I can do to help? You're our last local business that hasn't pulled their ad, Mom. You're doing enough already. So, what's the trick up your sleeve? Oh, well, I have some very important business to discuss with you. His name is Andrew. He works in procure. I told you, no more matchmaking. Oh, okay. He works in the cheese industry. The cheese guy? You set us up last year, it was a disaster. Oh my gosh. Have I tried setting you up with so many men that I've inadvertently returned to the start of my list? After Daniel, had enough of your matchmaking. Okay, well just because it didn't work out with Daniel doesn't mean it won't work out with the next guy. Zoe, we dated for a month and then he skipped town on Christmas Eve. So he broke your heart. It happens. He didn't break my heart, he broke Zach's and that's unforgivable. Excuse me. Hi, I saw you dropping these off. I just wondered what it was. Molly's Mommy Mixer, or Triple M for short. So it's like a social group for moms. Exactly. Single, married, young, old, everyone's welcome. And you're meeting tonight? Yeah, you should totally come. I saw something on here about a contest. Mm. Don't get her started about the contest. Modern Parenting Magazine's Group of the Year Award. The parenting group that raises the most amount of money for the NPM charity gets crowned this week. And we've got a fun run planned for this weekend. Well, great. Uh, maybe I'll see you there. I hope so. Okay, you do know when you talk about Triple M, you sound like a cult leader. If I'm gonna win this contest, I'm gonna need all the help I can get. Oh, did I tell you about Ashley? Ashley? She emailed me yesterday. Just moved to town. She's coming tonight. Get this. She's a social media expert. She could be exactly what Triple M needs to win this contest. Yeah, sounds perfect. the dips there. Why not? Because when someone dips a chip, they'll have to maneuver an overloaded chip right over the brownies, risking unwanted dip drip. Dip drip? Mm-hmm. That'll be your fun run outfit I ordered for you. Thank you Hi. so much. You have a little helper. That's adorable. Actually, I, um... You wanna cover me in cupcakes for the fun run? Allow me to introduce you to the trick up my sleeve. Molly, 
This is Ashley. Ashley, this is Molly. Call me Ash. And my little helper is Sophie. Hi, what's your name? Zach. You're Ashley? Guilty. Zoe hired me to boost the Herald's readership. When she told me about Triple M, I thought it'd be the perfect way to meet some fellow parents. Isn't it though? Make yourself at home. You wanna come see my room? Than the cheese guy. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just he's exactly what the Herald needs. Okay, give him a chance. Nice to meet you. This is Triple M, Zoe. Second M stands for mommy. Oh, correct me if I'm wrong, but that man, not a mommy. Okay, well maybe it's time you bent the rules a little. Wait, you broke his nose with a frisbee. I've known Mark since college. He may be a tech genius, but he couldn't catch a cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And you made these yourself? Those? Oh, yeah, I love to bake. They're delicious. Molly, did you get one? No, thanks. I actually made the brownies over there. So, how are you settling in? Great. Friendly locals, beautiful scenery. Perfect running routes. Oh, you run too? Of course he does. Can I get anyone well, Let me get this straight. You run, bake, look fabulous, and you're single? Well, I don't like to blow my own horn. You just became the most desirable bachelor since Tom Anderson won five grand in a scratch off. <laughs> this is a beautiful painting. Local artist? You could say that, right, Molly? You painted this. Didn't take me for the creative type. She gets that a lot. I've been trying to get her to go back to painting for years, but she continues to ignore me. You really should. There's a real market for this sort of stuff. This sort of stuff? I just mean a more traditional art. I'll clear some space. I should have told you about Ash. You should have. I don't like him. You just met him. He makes a strong first impression. And congratulations on making it a little over five hours on your no matchmaking promise. I'm not matchmaking. Sure. <sighs> Molly, can't you just let your guard down even just a little bit? My guard is not up. Molly, your guard is so far up, you can't even see over the top. Fundraising's changed. The days of yard sales, fun runs, and bake-offs are in the past. It's all about the digital sphere now. I'm not sure the digital sphere has quite made it to Havenbrook. Exactly. People here prefer a personal touch. I think that's a common misconception. What is? That small towns aren't ready to embrace the digital revolution. The digital revolution? <laughs> you sound like an extra from the Matrix. Just like traditional methods won't increase the Herald's readership, old-fashioned fundraising won't win you that contest. Trust me. Why is everything so organized? My mom likes it that way. Do you like it that way? <laughs> Sounds to me like your mom needs to lighten up a little. Thank you guys so much for coming. It was so great to see you. Oh, of course. Good to see you. Thank you. Sophie, let's go. Sorry if I came on a little strong about the fundraising thing. Can't say I noticed. Buy you coffee tomorrow? We could have a brainstorm. Seriously, I think I can help. I just... I think that's a very kind offer. And it would be rude not to accept. Mm-hmm. Seconded. Sophie said, let's bring ice cream for breakfast. That's nutritionally irresponsible. Maybe you need to lighten up a little.
So you're like a fixer? Yeah, that term's a little reductive. My job is to analyze the digital footprint of an organization, see where it's working, see where it's not. You know what I mean? Ash is here to kickstart our social media presence, engage with the entire community, bring back our old readers, find new ones. What can we do to help? First thing I'd like to do is walk around, really breathe the place in. Anyone want to be my tour guide? I was actually thinking Molly. You were? You can grab a cup of coffee, you can show me around town, and we can talk about your fundraising. Charlie. Across the street is the Lobster Shack, owned by Charlie's dad. Havenbrook Bookstore, owned by Zoe's uncle. Conservatory, owned by Vince's brother. Have you always lived here? Not always. I moved to the city after college. What brought you back? Uh, my husband passed away right after Zach was born. Felt like the right time to come home. So sorry to hear that. Um, and lastly, the fountain, owned by my mom and our last remaining appetizer. your last client. Ever heard of a graffiti artist named Propaganda? I'm not really into that kind of art. I'm more traditional, remember? Well, he's Brooklyn's answer to Banksy. Real identity, cloaked in mystery. He hired me to shape his digital profile, inflate his price tags. And it worked? He just had his first show. Every piece sold for six figures. But you know who he is, right? I mean, you must have met him. This is highly classified information that could ruin his career. He's actually a middle-aged geography teacher from Pennsylvania named Norman. Must be interesting, having so many different clients. It is. I love the work, but the short-term contracts aren't exactly ideal. How short-term? Uh, a couple weeks. Sometimes a few months. It means we move around a lot, so. So how long is your contract here? Oh, uh, six weeks. Then it's off to Alaska. Alaska? Yep. Coleman's cannery has been canning Alaskan salmon for 70 years. Without me, they might not make it to 71. That must be hard, traveling around with Sophie so much. She's fine. We'll settle down eventually, when the right opportunity comes along. So, let's talk fundraising. Actually, uh, I should probably get back to the office. You know, small town historic newspaper on the verge of folding. I should probably do some work. Well, when's the next Triple M meetup? Maybe we could talk then. I'm afraid I won't be able to approve your Triple M membership. Really? Why not? Isn't it obvious? The middle M stands for mommy. Isn't that a little exclusionary? Yes. I, I mean, no. I mean, thanks for the coffee. <laughs> You're forgetting something? You're just trying to be romantic. Romantic? I accidentally touched her hand and then helped her into her coat. <sighs> Hi. 
I'm not interested in you romantically. Great. I'm not interested in you romantically either. Fantastic. I just wanted to clear that up. I didn't want you getting the wrong idea or anything. I'm personable, nothing more. I'm just sitting down to dinner, so if that's all I'm Now that we have that romantic misunderstanding cleared up, I'm assuming you'll be happy to approve my Triple M membership. Can't get rid of me that easily. That was me. I'm going now. Oh, well, you seem jauntier than usual. It's unsettling. Can I just get a coffee to go, please? You let him put these here? I can't discriminate against another parenting group, Molly. It would be unethical. And don't you want your coffee? You can't be serious. Okay, no, Ash was just explaining. Explaining what? I had a brainwave last night. <sighs> Sounds painful. Two parenting groups. Mostly made up of Herald employees, both competing for the Group of the Year award. Think of the publicity, the online traffic. People are going to love it. How can you possibly expect to win the contest when you don't even have any members? I actually approved the application for two members this morning. We've been fundraising for months, and the contest closes next week. You can't really believe you can win. Remember when I told you that yard sales, bake-offs, and fun runs were a thing of the past? Bring it on. Now you're talking. Are you ready to fun run till you drop? That doesn't exactly sound like fun. Forget fun. This is war. Aren't you taking this a little too seriously, Molly? I'm taking this with exactly the right amount of seriousness. Sounds like you aren't taking this seriously enough. It's just a contest, Molly. It's not just a contest. It's everything I've been working towards for the past few months. And he thinks he can just waltz right in and snatch it from me? <laughs> not on my watch. Oh, okay, easy, girl. Let's just... Oh, you sure that you can beat him? I mean, it sounded very impressive the other night. You want to join AAA Mom? Well, to be honest, it's tempting. I know exactly how to win this thing. Trust me. I know exactly how to win this thing. Trust me. Talk to me. What can I use? Uh, you can use my car. That's not what I meant. I have a car. I just meant skill, a talent. What is your USP? I used to tap. As in tap dance? <laughs> Are you serious? I was under 18 state champ three years in a row. Uh, Tepper's heel, putting an end to what could have been a promising career. Why not know this about you? You know, that's real awesome. <laughs> What's Tapper's heel? Uh, it's like tennis elbow, but you know, in the heel. You can still tap though, right? Not at a competitive level, but yeah, I can still dance. But I haven't put the shoes on in years. But you still have the shoes. They're in the trunk of my car. <laughs> like, I promised Zoe I'd throw them out. Okay, I just haven't been able to bring myself to do it. Will you tap for me, Vince? Will you tap for Ash's awesome alliance? <laughs> okay. Molly said that your dad owns a restaurant called The Lobster Shack. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. We can use that. I'm just not sure how. Oh, I'm, I'm not really sure that we can. I haven't really spoken to my dad in about six months. Why? What happened? Um, he, he wanted me to join the family business and chose a different route. You're artistic. Creative. He doesn't understand that. He thinks that you turned your back on him and you think he turned his back on you. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> that's exactly correct. 
Sometimes you just need a third party to turn you back around, look each other in the eye again. I can be that person for you, Charlie. I got him. It is all about momentum. First, we smash the fun run. Then, we roll right into the double whammy of the bake-off and the yard sale. I don't care how digital his sphere is, he's not topping that. Um, you might want to see this. Ash just started a live stream from the Herald's social account. Ladies and gentlemen, forget the rumble in the jungle or the thriller in Manila. This is a right hook in Havenbrook, and it's the battle of the century. It's Molly's Mommy Mixer versus Ash's Awesome Alliance, competing for Modern Parenting Magazine's Group of the Year Award. Now, if you want to play it safe, then put on your old Tommy bonnet and hit your horse-drawn cart to triple M. Old timey bonnet? Horse drawn cart. He's good. <laughs> but if you want something new, something fresh, then jump on board a AAA bullet train. Destination awesome. To kick things off, we've got a former state champion tap dancer tapping up a storm right here, right now. <sighs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. He is really good. <laughs> That's right, folks. A 24-hour non-stop tapathon streaming live from the Herald. Donate now in the link in our profile to keep Vince tapping. He's gonna need every cent you got. How you doing, Vince? Let's get this party started! Woo! Oh, I gotta see this. Wait, seriously? Oh yeah. Uh, uh, okay, well wait! You can't possibly tap for 24 hours. You get a blister after 20 minutes. I feel like I could dance for a week. I'll get him some fluids. Uh, you might want to order an ambulance while you're at it. Seconds out. I didn't agree to any of this. Oh, come on, you know it makes sense. It makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. The metrics and I would have to agree to disagree. He's right, Molly. Ash's video has already been shared more in the last 20 minutes than anything we posted this entire year. And we just got our first donation. Seriously? From China. From China? How is that even possible? I mean, they're sleeping. Never underestimate the digital sphere, Molly. <laughs> I'm about to grab your digital spheres and launch you right out that window. That is perfect. What? Say it again. What? what are you doing? Put that away. And now a word from Molly Jackson, fearless leader of Triple M and my arch nemesis. Arch nemesis? How does it feel, Molly? How does what feel? To know that Triple A is gaining on you, cent by cent, dollar by dollar. Uh, stop it. Oh, oh, gloves are truly off now, folks. Donate now to Triple A. <laughs> Come on, Charlie. Phase two starts now. Actually insane. I just need a few minutes of your time, Ray. I already told Molly I'm not renewing the ads until someone actually reads the Herald again. I'm not here for the advertisements, Ray. I'm here for Charlie. I'm here to make things right. If Charlie wanted to make things right, he could have come here himself. He did. He's out front. What are you? Some kind of fixer? That term's a little reductive. Arch nemesis. How does what feel? I just can't believe how happy he was. I can't believe he posted it already. Ugh. So you really still think we can win this thing? We have to. He'll be even more insufferable if we don't. That's even possible. If 
if I'd known how much this photography thing meant to you, I never would have stood in your way. Yeah, I should have made that clear. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't give you the chance. I love you, Dad. I love you too, son. Hey, Ray. Can I borrow that? That's not fair. What's well, not fair? You know I'm not going to turn you away when Sophie's with you. Told you it would work. Hi, Molly. Hi, Sophie. Zach's upstairs. I want you to know that this rivalry thing is just for show. Are you sure about that? It's a theatrical narrative, purely meant to drive online traffic. Which is working, if you hadn't noticed. Oh, I've noticed. So what did you do in the city before you moved to Havenbrook? Uh, same thing I do here, except for a national magazine. That must have been a big culture shock. Not really. I mean, selling ad space to a global brand isn't really that different than selling it to the Lobster Shack. It's still just two people talking. Not that I've been doing a very good job of that recently. Hence the reason you're currently sitting on my couch. It's not your fault the Herald lost its ad revenue, Molly. That's what Zoe keeps telling me. And she's right. No one wants to advertise in a newspaper that nobody reads. You really think you can turn it around? I wouldn't be here if I didn't. Do you miss it? Miss what? The job, city, everything. Sometimes, but there were too many memories there. And most of them good, but I just, Needed a fresh start. And you've been doing it alone ever since? Yep. <laughs> Despite Zoe trying to set me up with every eligible bachelor name in Brooke. <laughs> Some of them twice, and one of which promised to take Zach ice skating on Christmas Eve before he accidentally remembered he had a wife on the other side of the country. You're kidding. Wish I was. <laughs> Took Zach months to recover. You should get a job like mine. Nobody can matchmake you if you're not around long enough. Does Sophie see your mom much? My ex-wife lives in Hong Kong. The only people that see her on a regular basis are the other partners at her law firm. Sophie's fine. She understands. Tough being a single parent, huh? I'll drink to that. I guess you have a lot of friends, huh? What makes you think that? Oh, you move around so much. Same as my friends wherever you go. It doesn't really work like that. How come? Sometimes we're not there long enough to make friends. And sometimes I don't even try. Why not? It's easier to leave somewhere with no friends than it is to leave friends behind. You want to hear a joke? Sure. What do you call a pig that does karate? I have no idea. Pork chop. <laughs> You're funny. What kind of shorts do clouds wear? I don't know. Thunderwear. What do you call an alligator in a vest? I don't know. What do you call an alligator in a vest? An investigator. <laughs> I like Zach. That's good to hear. It's nice here. Yeah, it sure is. What's that? You really don't know what that is. It's a game. How does it work? Watch.
<laughs> no, it's fine. I decided what I want to be when I grow up. Have you now? A stand-up comedian. A stand-up comedian? Sophie said my jokes are so good, I could tour the world with a sell-out show. She did, huh? What, you don't believe her? I believe you can be anything you want to be. But it doesn't hurt to have a backup career, like a safety net. Something a little more reliable than the entertainment industry. Is that what you did? What do you mean? Didn't you decide to use your safety net when you stopped painting? <laughs> Good night, honey. How do you organize a space party? I don't know. How do you organize a space party? You plan it. Much longer. Oh, not much longer, honey. Only around eight hours. Uh, How are your blisters holding up? Badly. Yep. Thought so. Uh, Thank you so much. Good it's luck. Number. Thank you so much for coming. Good luck. Let you me guess. It. Did your mom make oh, you hey, wear that? Thank you for coming. Who else? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, you look adorable. And fast. Okay. Can I please have your attention? Thank you so much for coming to this morning's Triple M Fun Run. <laughs> For those of you who have already donated, thank you. For those of you who haven't, prepare to get your hands in your pockets. And without any further ado, will all fun runners please take their places at the starting line? <laughs> all right, on your mark. Get set. Ready for one more? You've got to be kidding me. That's right, folks. It's Triple M versus Triple A, head to head for the very first time. Don't be shellfish. Keep those donations coming in. Every cent counts. Can you even run in that thing? It's actually surprisingly roomy. Are you supposed to be a giraffe? I'm a cheetah. Oh, that makes more sense. This is fun, right? On your mark. Get set. Go. Hey. Go. that I used to run track in high school. Seriously? I was a half athlete. Uh, Something of an all-star. Of course you were. What? You weren't on your high school track team? I was regional spelling bee champion five years running. Oh, congratulations. Spectacularly unhelpful in the middle of a fun run. But good for you, champ. How does it feel to be overtaken by a six-foot monster? Okay. okay. <laughs> hey, come on. Hey, come on. Thousands of people have watched Charlie's live stream. 
So thousands of people just watched me lose to a giant lobster? We'll look on the bright side. Havenbrook and the Herald are trending on social media, not just locally, but across the state. And this clip is going viral. Great. No hard feelings, right? How long can a lobster stay out of water? I don't know. Why? Better safe than sorry! <laughs> hey. Can you I cannot believe you just did that. <laughs> Never met a more irritating man in my entire life. And I've met a lot of irritating men. Give it up for Molly, everyone. Haverbrook's number one runner up. Just a theatrical narrative, remember? Sure. Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> Who else wants to cool off? <laughs> Don't worry, he won't know what hit him when the bake sale kicks off. So far, we've been up against a champion tap dancer and a former heptathlete. If it turns out Charlie used to be an all-star baker, I'm gonna scream. Hmm. Well, if only you could challenge Ash to a game of no holes barred spelling. That would really wipe the smile off his face. I should challenge him to something. Right now, catch him off guard. I mean, he can't say no on their live stream. Challenge him to what? Pedal boats. Pedal boats? You. Why not? Molly, I asked you to go pedal boating with me last year. Do you remember what you said? No, but you're gonna remind me. Deceptively dangerous. That's what you call pedal boating. Yeah, well, maybe I'm feeling a little deceptively dangerous right now, so I guess that balances things out. Molly. If you're here to accept defeat, I respectfully must decline. There's a long way to go. Pedal boat race, you, me, to the dock and back right now. Winner takes the proceeds of the fun run. A pedal boat race? Just adding a little more theatrics to the narrative. You can't say no to that, right? Oh, oh you know I can. <laughs> Regretting your fashion choice? Fashion comes and goes, Molly. <laughs> Style. Never dies. Mm -hmm. On your mark, get set, pedal! How? How are they so fast? Very funny. He's about to do it. He's now more blister than man. <laughs> and ten, nine, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one! Oh, honey, I never should have told you to throw your tap shoes away. Oh, no, no, no. You don't have to now because I'll do it myself. Wait, this hasn't made you want to start tapping again? Oh, trust me, this has made me want to never tap again. See ya. I'd say congratulations, but you're looking smug enough already. Smug? Me? I think you're secretly having the time of your life. Seriously, Mom? Losing a fun run to a lobster is not my idea of fun. It was pretty funny. Yeah, that was very funny. <laughs> More needing, less talking. I will say this much for Ash. 
His reputation is well earned. The Herald's online profile is blowing up. I'm happy he's helping. Mm -hmm. I am. But we can't let him steal the limelight tomorrow. You think he's cooking something up? Of course he is. It's Ash. It's what he does. Hmm. His cupcakes were delicious. But not even he can make enough tonight to rival all this. Oh, it won't be cupcakes he's making. No, he'll be making something different. Something irritatingly clever. Well, I don't care how clever he is. The people of Havenbrook love a bake sale. He can't possibly do anything to upstage that. You know where to go. We're doing top secret Triple M stuff. Go away. You're gonna wanna hear this. I doubt that. Unless you're about to tell me you're planning on moving to Alaska earlier than planned. I just spoke with Anna Klein. The journalist from Modern Parenting Magazine? Yes. She heard about the rivalry and wants to run a profile. That's amazing. A piece in a national magazine? I mean, we couldn't ask for better publicity for the Herald. Feel free to mention the fountain, too. Why are you both leaving? We still have more baking to do. Oh, I can help. Yeah, Ash can help. It was nice. It's getting late. Mm. It's totally not getting late. <laughs> Bye, honey. <laughs> Believe it or not, that was them actually trying to be subtle. Where do I start? Why do you have so many ties? My mom says the right tie can turn a good look into a great one. Weird. Try this. My grandma bought me that. Mom does not let me wear it. Why not? Says it makes me look like a hoodlum. What's a hoodlum? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I've been reading NPM since Zach was born. I can't believe I'm actually going to be in it. What do you think she's going to ask us? Why are you so obsessed with this contest? It's probably going to be her first question. Are you asking me to answer that right now? Not if you don't want to. No, it's fine. Um, when my husband passed away, no one thought I could raise Zach on my own, especially my mom. She was probably just worried about you both. I know. When we moved back to Havenbrook, she wanted us to move in with her, but I wanted to prove her wrong. So you set up Triple M? A way to meet other moms, to form a network. It's the best thing I've ever done, and it means the world to me. Good answer. <laughs> Thanks. Now ask me one. When did you realize you wanted to do the job you do? When I turned around our college Shakespeare Society, we went from an empty basement to selling out the auditorium twice over. You were a member of your college Shakespeare Society? I usually played the fool on account of my juggling skills and how great I look in a leotard. <laughs> Prove it. Are you ready to be amazed, my lady? Go right ahead, good sir. Okay, not bad. If you saw me in the leotard, you'd be really impressed. <laughs> what? It's gone awfully quiet up there. What is he wearing? I don't know, but he looks awesome. Don't you dare tell him that. eaten by a polar bear in Alaska. Are there polar bears in Alaska? Yep. I already checked. Well, we're just gonna have to be careful, won't we? If we stayed here, we wouldn't have to worry about me getting eaten by a polar bear. We're going to Alaska, Sophie. Just enjoy it here while you can. Are you wearing 
wearing hair mousse? Sophie says it makes me look older. You're seven. You don't need to look older. Sophie says all the best stand-up comedians have a good book. Sophie says a lot, huh? Yeah. I like her. Me too. Hello? Anna Klein from Modern Parenting Magazine? Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll be right there. <laughs> She's here. Your article about potty training last month was amazing. Thank you. And the one before that about baby led weaning, I mean, just so incisive. Thank you again. I mean, my son is seven, so clearly past those phases, but I just love your articles. <laughs> so well written and so well researched. It's always nice to meet a fan. Do you think you can mention the Herald in your article? Even just a mention in NPM would be incredible. Of course, you both work here, so it'll feed into the story organically. Now, tell me, how did this great rivalry start? <sighs> well, Ash was a little bummed when I told him he couldn't be in Triple M. So he created a group of his own instead. Wait, that's hilarious, I love it. And now you're neck and neck for first place. Really, we're neck and neck? Looks like it. And as the contest ends in just a couple of days, I'll be sticking around to crown the winner. That's fantastic. Can't believe you caught up so fast. Oh, neither could we. That's why I'm here. So, you were hired by the Herald to turn around its fortunes? I'm just lending a helping hand. The Havenbrook Herald has been in print for over 100 years, and we intend to keep it that way. But that's what you do, right? I mean, you're known as the number one fixer in the industry. That term is a little reductive. Then do elaborate. Sure, but you also need to ask Molly about her painting. She does. <laughs> oh, she absolutely does. And I absolutely will. But let's focus on you first, Ash. Now, tell me how you got started. Sure. I'm starting to think they accidentally sent the president of the Ash Miller fan club. You sound jealous. Jealous? Of what? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> Tom, hi. Yes, of course. That's wonderful news. Thank you so much for calling. Perfect. Great. That was Tom Crawford at the diving school. He wants to renew their advertising contract. Awesome, okay, well, let's hope that's the first of many. Anna has a few follow-up questions, so we're gonna get coffee at the fountain. I convinced her to give your mom a plug in the article. That's great. She'll be delighted. Yeah, not jealous at all. <laughs> Beautiful, thank you. Uh, coffee run before we start? Yeah, sure, I'll nope. go. I'm on it. <laughs> Espresso extra hot. Make it a double. Are you okay? Why wouldn't I be? Because you normally order a decaf oat milk latte. <laughs> So, how'd it go last night? How'd what go? You and Ash, baking all night. We baked, Mom, so what? Eyes meeting across the kitchen counter, hands brushing hands under a soft pillow of dough. What are you talking about? 
I've been listening to them since they got here. He's done a great job promoting Triple M, the Herald, the Fountain, and Havenbrook in general. He knows exactly what he's doing. Why are you telling me this? Because that's why you came here, right? To see what they're talking about? I came here for double espresso. Please tell me that was decaf. You really think I'd give you a double espresso? You'd be up for a week. Thanks. Can I give you some advice? If you like him, tell him. Life's too short, honey. I don't like him, Mom. Not like that. And even if I did, he leaves in a week, so what's the point? Well, a lot can happen in a week. Thanks for the coffee. Roll up, roll up. Cookies, brownies, cupcakes, you name it, we've got it. Bum, ba -da -dum, bum, bum. Great. Here we go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the longest lobster roll in Havenbrook history. Possibly even the state's history, nay, the world's history. Cooked fresh this morning and assembled by the expert hands of Ray and Charlie Fisher of Havenbrook's very own Lobster Shack. Yeah. He's done it again, hasn't he? Yep. For just $5 a slice, you can have your very own unique and delicious opportunity to be part of Havenbrook's history. $5 a slice? That's double the price of anything we're selling. Can I have a slice more? You don't even like lobster. I know, but it's not every day you get the chance to be a part of Havenbrook history. Thank you very much. Thank you. You won't regret it. It's delicious. You know what? We should all be a part of Havenbrook history. What's she doing? I have no idea. Fraternizing with the competition. Isn't that against the rules? How many slices does that get me? Uh, that'll get you the whole thing. Great. Then I'll take every single slice, please. Sorry, folks. We just got bought out. Oh. Oh. And that's how it's done. Gentlemen, buy a slice of this history-defining lobster roll right now at the Triple M booth and get any sweet treat half price. Woo! <laughs> Do you want the end piece? Perfect. decided to stay away from this one. Intimidated by our yard sale prowess. You really think so? I think if he had something up his sleeve, we would have heard about it by... Hey, 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 behold, Havenbrook. Feast thine eyes on some awesome ye old entertainment. Yard sale? That's not even a thing. It is now. I can't compete with that. Don't worry, Mom. I have an idea. What, what is he doing? Hmm. If I had a towel, I'd throw it in right about now. Well, what are you doing? Trust me. My name's Zach Jackson. I'm seven years old, and I've got some jokes for you. I don't know about you, but I'm not a fan of elevator music. It's just bad on so many levels. You know who does like elevators? Ghosts. <laughs> 
Yeah, apparently it really lifts their spirits. <laughs> and did you know that the first French fries weren't made in France? They were made in Greece. <laughs> Oh, I always knew that, Jack. It was a recipe for success. <laughs> well, I gotta tell you, after today's takings, things are close. How close? Contest ends in 48 hours. It's gonna go down to the wire. And you're trending, Zach. How does it feel to be a star of social media? I'm not enough for the pain. Let's go out to a nice dinner. Your choice, anywhere you want. Anywhere? Anywhere. Can we have ice cream? As much as you can eat. Can Sophie and Ash come too? <sighs> you wouldn't rather have dinner with your biggest fan? Anna Klein. Are you kidding me? Oh, she's been driving me crazy with her question. I couldn't wait to get away. <laughs> yeah, she's super annoying. I thought you were her biggest fan. Me? No, her articles are way overrated. All right, so where is this place? Don't worry, we're almost there. Just one more stop on the way. Come on, let's catch up with Zach and Soap. what he did today. He would have never had the confidence to do something like that before he met Sophie. She has that effect on people, whether they like it or not. He wanted to share this place with her. He's never done that before. What makes it so special? Other than the obvious, of course. When we moved back to Havenbrook, it was tough. I mean, everyone I knew here had left. Well, everyone except for my mom, but... All she wanted to talk about were her concerns about me raising Zach by myself. I started having second thoughts, thinking maybe I should move back to the city, but then one day we came here and it changed. What did? Well, Zach did for a start, and he was happy for the first time since we came here. And it was seeing him here that made me believe that moving back was the right choice. I went home that night and I painted Bracelet Bay. First time I'd painted in years. And that same night I had the idea for Triple M and the rest is history. I still can't believe you're a painter. Believe it or not, I actually went to art school. Not, definitely not. Is it really so hard to believe? I could believe your mom having gone to art school, but you, it doesn't fit, no offense. None taken. But it did fit. Long time ago, at least. But when Zach was born, I focused on a more reliable career path. Remember when I told you I worked in a national magazine? It was an arts magazine called Abacus. So even though I changed careers, I still kept a little toe in the creative ocean. And since moving back to Havenbrook, painting became more of a hobby. But if I'm being honest, I haven't painted anything in years. Maybe that part of me really doesn't fit anymore. Maybe you should try it on again. What's scaring you? It's just a little old paintbrush. I'm not scared. You've just moved on. I believe that if someone's good at something, they should keep doing it, especially if it makes them happy. What makes you happy? If you had asked me that last week, I'm not sure I would have known the answer. But right now, I'd say it's pretty obvious. Can Sophie come back to our place for ice cream? Please, Dad. Zach, it's getting kind of late. But Mom, you said I could have as much ice cream as I could eat. You totally did say that. <laughs> OK. Yes! <laughs> you can show me the rest of your paintings. No, that's not something I tend to share. Ever? Ever, with anyone. Until now. You're insufferable. You know that, right? 
Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> You each get two scoops. Thank you. It's Bracelet Bay, right? Yep. You captured it perfectly. Okay, follow me. doing this. That's a lot of paintings. <laughs> Molly, these are fantastic. You really think so? I know so. <laughs> these should be hanging on walls, not lying under sheets. I kind of don't want to beat you now. What makes you think you're going to beat me? We still have 48 hours to fundraise. Well, I happen to have a little surprise lined up for tomorrow that might put me over the line. Do you now? Yep, I'm afraid so. Well then, I guess Triple M might just have to think up a little surprise of our own too. Seriously, I think you're great. I mean, these, I, I think these paintings are great <laughs> for paintings. How about a lesson? A lesson? Sure. They've got enough ice cream to last the rest of the night. Show me how it's done. So, what do you want to paint? Let's paint each other. I don't paint portraits. And I don't paint at all. Come on, it'll be fun. I thought you wanted a lesson. Well, I have to paint something so you can gauge my level. Come on, I'm already starting. You guys are blue, right? You can't be on my eyes already. Oh, I'm a fast painter. <laughs> oh, that's a strong jawline. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> what are you doing? We're painting. What Ash is doing is not painting. Is that supposed to be a human? It's supposed to be me. It's abstract. It's terrible. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Zach. Maybe you need to lighten up a little. Don't you I'm gonna make you a kitty cat. Come here. <laughs> right off. <laughs> Zach, get you. <laughs> I think that it was probably the best day of my life. Mom? Remember how you always told me to do something with my paintings? <laughs> well, I think it might finally be time. Are you gonna tell me about last night? What do you mean? I have been telling you for years to get these things out of your spare room and you've always ignored me. What did Ash say in one night that I couldn't in 10 years? He didn't say anything. He just made me realize that maybe it really was time to get these some air. Hmm. I'm a little offended that you took the advice of an admittedly handsome man over that of your own mother. His handsomeness or 
otherwise had nothing to do with it. Uh-huh. Molly, these are amazing. Thanks. <laughs> you should have been hanging on the walls a long time ago, not stuck in your spare room. So everyone keeps telling me. Apparently, it took a handsome man telling her to make her see sense. Well, what happened last night? Nothing happened last night. Okay, well, clearly something happened. We went to the bay, ate lobster roll, that's it. Wait, you took Ash to Bracelet Bay? Yeah, uh, what's the big deal? You took Ash to your special place. It was Zach's idea. Tell them, Zach. Mom and Ash sat real close on a log. Zach! <laughs> I'm just glad to hear you're finally lowering that guard of yours. I haven't lowered it, but let's just say that I'm peeking over the top. Hmm. Well, let me see these. They look perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Now let's just hope people show. Mm. Molly, these are amazing. Of course they'll show up. Oh, our show tonight. Oh, sir, our show tonight. Love to see you there. What are you doing here? I was just about to ask you the same thing. What am I doing here? Yes, and why are you doing it with Anna? I picked her up from her hotel this morning. Her car broke down last night. She's writing an article about us, remember? For someone who's writing an article about us, she certainly spends a lot of time with just you. I got something big cooking up here, Molly. All will be revealed soon. Well, I'm cooking up something pretty big, too. Great, can't wait. Are you ready, Zach? We gotta get going. You look amazing. I look like a penguin. You look like James Bond. Yeah, if James Bond was a penguin. Oh, trust me, it's perfect. How is it perfect when it's so uncomfortable? Come on, it's just for one night. Can't I go back to wearing my denim jacket? We're going to an art auction, Zach, not a line dancing club. <sighs> Come on. Let's go. Can you stop pacing? You're making me dizzy. Why hasn't anyone shown up yet? Just give it time. You ever hear of fashionably late? <laughs> We've been giving it time for two hours already. If we give it any more time, it'll be morning. I think something cool is happening over there. He's done it again, hasn't he? Who the heck is propaganda? I have no idea, but look at those price tags. Ladies and gentlemen of Havenbrook, Thank you so much for coming this evening for this once-in-a-lifetime auction. I've been lucky enough to secure 10 pieces from Propaganda, one of the hottest artists on the planet right now. We've got a number of international bidders lined up on the phone with all of the proceeds going to the AAA Group of the Year contest, which closes in just 24 hours. So grab some champagne and have a great night. Yeah. To the man at the hour. Come on, Zach, we're leaving. 
but I want to stay. Don't worry about Zach. I'll bring him home. Molly. Molly. Molly, wait. Leave me alone, Ash. I don't understand. You don't understand? So all this was just some huge coincidence? I have no idea what you're talking about. Next time you're hired to fix something, fix yourself first. Molly, take a breath, okay? This whole thing might just be an honest mistake. The only mistake is when I decided to trust him. Who are you calling? An old work friend. Won't take long. Lana, hi, how are you? I know, it's been far too long. Listen, I have a juicy little piece of information that... that I think you might be interested in. Sophie will leave now. They were always gonna leave Zach. That's how Ash works. I thought maybe he changed his mind and decided to stay. The world doesn't work like that, Zach. Not for people like Ash. I knew you were obsessed with this contest, but I didn't think even you would go that far. What are you talking about? Oh, don't give me that. Abacus Arts Magazine. Your former employer. I wonder how they got a hold of the story. Congratulations, Molly. You just ruined the career of the hippest artist on the planet. All that man had was his image. Without that, his spray paint scribbles are worth nothing. He can't even give them away. Maybe he could try something a little more traditional. I hear there's still a market for that kind of thing. Gotta hand it to you, Molly. Brutal stuff. A real down and dirty play. The only down and dirty play that was made tonight was by you, Ash. I had no idea you were going to host your own auction tonight. I gave you a flyer this morning. You didn't even look at it, did you? I was busy organizing everything. And that's your problem right there. You're so focused on your own path, you don't even see what's going on around you. That's not true. Then the alternative's even worse. You do see what's going on around you, but you choose to ignore it. Good night, Ash. Enjoy Alaska.
You sure you won't stay just a little longer? Yeah, I'm sure we could find you something to fix. Yeah, yeah, we could even break something just so you could fix it. It's been a pleasure, guys. Thanks. I just got off the phone with the last of our advertisers. They all came back, every single one. Mission accomplished. Please tell me you're gonna say goodbye to Molly before you go. After last night, I don't know if there's anything left to say. When you didn't show up this morning, I figured I'd better come looking. Thanks, Mom. Did you speak to him? Not since last night. It's probably left already. Why don't you head over to the office? Catch him before he goes. Why? It's over. Not that there was ever anything there to begin with. Oh, you just stop it. Stop what? Stop pretending that there wasn't something there. That there isn't something there. There was something there from the first moment. If there wasn't something there, you wouldn't have done what you did last night. I wouldn't have done what I did last night if he hadn't ruined everything in the first place. Speak to him. Give him a chance. I'm done giving out chances. You don't want to go to Alaska, do you? If you could go anywhere, anywhere at all, where would you go? I'd stay right here. I love you, kiddo. kidding when you said I wouldn't get rid of you that easily, were you? You were right. You were 100% completely and totally right. About what? About paths. Alaska. About everything. You're not making any sense. I am so sorry I didn't read your flyer. I was so obsessed with my own path that I didn't take the time to consider yours or anyone else's. I'm so sorry about propaganda. Forget it. You made a mistake. I made a mistake. Now it's time to make things right. What do you mean? I have one more trick up my sleeve. For the contest, Ash, I don't want to compete with you anymore. I'm not doing it for AAA. I'm doing it for Triple M. 
I'm doing it for you. Doing what? Can you look after Sophie for a little while? Sure, but Ash, come on, just tell me. I... All will be revealed tonight. You really have no idea what he's cooking up. Only that he wants me to arrive half an hour early. So we better get going. Come on, Zach, we gotta go. What's he doing up there? I told him he can wear anything he wants this time. He's probably moosing his hair as we speak. And putting on that awful jacket you got him. Zach, honey, you didn't need to put that on. It's okay, Mom, I wanted to. But maybe after tonight, I can go back to my favorite jacket. Deal. Incredible. What are those? Those are to indicate which ones have already been sold. Are you serious? What can I say? You're fashionably lace your own party. How does what feel? <laughs> you just won, Molly. Triple M just soared into first place. Molly's mommy makes her as officially MPM's parenting group of the year. What's wrong? You know, I don't think I need it now. You don't need the award? Give it to whoever came in third place. Whatever money Ash and I raised goes to their chosen charity. Sound good? Sounds perfect. And with the Herald healthier than ever, we can invest some of that new ad revenue back into local causes. Just to be clear, you're withdrawing yourself from the contest? Yep. After everything you've been through. It's just a silly contest. I better make some calls. Why are they all grinning like that? One more little thing that I should probably tell you. You know how I did such a spectacular job at turning around the fortunes of the Herald? How spectacularly modest of you to say so. Well, Zoe just offered me a job as the Herald's full-time social media manager. Permanent position. What'd you say? I kind of like it here, so I said yes. You said yes? Yeah. I said yes. What about Alaska? Too many polar bears in Alaska. They have polar bears in Alaska? Oh, yeah. Sophie did the research. You know, I don't really know what to do in one place for more than six to eight weeks. You might have to give me some tips. I think I know where we can start. 